Kingaroth Mythic is a personal favourite of mine in Antorus and has a lot of strict performance requirements that are very much succeed or wipe situations that allow for a lot of optimization both in your performance and your play. Enhancements Toolkit isn't strictly ideal for this boss as our robot damage is fairly average because we can't really pump out a lot with the cooldowns that we have available but in exchange for that we bring exceptional boss damage due to our uncontrollable burst windows with the legendary gloves that can occasionally high roll on the robots. The first thing to look at is your tier 30 talents. All three options can be used. Rainfall is really good for helping to sustain the group if you are already using a stack tactic in the background footage that you can see, or for keeping your specific group healthy during the robot phase by planting it around the melee. Lunge can be really useful for quick transitions between the bots and as a backup movement tool if you feel that you're caught out, but personally my preference of all of them has landed on Windrush, even though I've had some use out of the others, because being able to speed people up to reduce the time in the danger area moving between bots when you're in the mythics fight specifically is really useful. You can drop this just before the gateway, everyone gets sped up, they jump through and they're on the next bot immediately and then you can DPS that and get back onto the boss. And having it as a backup group movement tool later in the fight to avoid the orbs that are spinning around when you're trying to get back to the boss to finish him off is extremely useful. Up next are your defense and mobility options, both of which are very important on this fight as they will be a make or break factor. DPS is not as much of an issue overall. Defense is probably the biggest thing to be worried about on Kingaroth as enhancement as there's a lot of constant damage and yet other points where there could be a lot of big burns that can really chunk you down so you need to be very careful about when you're willing to drop your defensive tools. Generally I would save astral shift for the robot phase to make sure you are stable and have an extra self heal via elemental healing when it's going on especially later on in the fight when the damage really ramps up from the boss but do be very aware of your health and don't be afraid of using Healing Surge if you start to dip low. Generally speaking, I tend to lean towards using Astral Shift towards the tail end of the phase, when the healers are starting to struggle, when you're moving between the bots, and the raid is starting to get into a really danger zone that you're waiting for the phase to end. Spirit Walk is great for getting onto the robots during the transition quickly, since if you take something like Windrush you won't have access to lunge, and otherwise getting out of sketchy ruiners during the mid phase if you're out of position and you need to be sure that you're close to your robot as the protocol's coming. Lastly, if you have no other options, it's great for moving between the robots if you don't have access to a gateway and you need to switch over to the third one straight away. Third is DPS optimization. Now, first and foremost, you must make sure that you have your cooldowns for each robot phase. This includes all of those, Earthen Spike, Doomwinds and Feral Spirit. You are able to use one Earthen Spike in the opener as normal, but not use Doom Winds and make sure that they're all ready as the next robot spawns. For Feral Spirit, if you drop your target on Kingroth and cast on the move towards the robot just as it's up, this should prevent them from sticking to him, which is a common issue, and then you can unload all your other cooldowns. Make sure to use Earthen Spike and then Doom Winds straight away to make sure that you don't delay it so you can have a good one minute cycle on the boss and use it exactly on cooldown during the main phase on the boss so that you don't desync it in future. It's also slightly beneficial to hold your second Earthen Spike during the robot phase until 20 seconds is left on Doom Winds so that you can then line up the cast after with the doomwinds that you're going to do on the boss. This isn't essential though and in generally speaking sometimes it will and it will not cause some problems but that's the general idea that you want to try and line them up. Lastly is the final points that I have to say on the boss. Uh, these are kind of things that may be small tips that you may or may not benefit from but the things to keep in mind. Firstly don't be worried if you aren't topping on the robot damage. You shouldn't be. Your cooldowns are enough to contribute and you will be a significant factor but you won't be the winner on it because the majority of our burst damage comes from from glove procs and we can't control it and instead we're generally going to win out by a very large margin on consistent boss damage. Wind rushing your group out of the robot area to the gateway like I said before is extremely useful and this is worth a lot of damage on its own just by the fact that you're going to get the DPS over there and make sure that that robot is dead early and really don't be afraid to hop into ghost wolf to get out of the group when you're targeted by decimation to avoid them. This is going to make sure that you get a little bit of extra maelstrom and you avoid a lot of the damage that the raid is going to be taking. That covers Kingaroth, and personally, that's the most complex boss that you're going to have to deal with right up until Agrimar for the amount of things that you can do yourself. And up next is a boss that we are excellent at, which is Varimathras.